The coolest part about my job is that I get to help families make their dreams come true by using science. As an embryologist, you work with a team of doctors and nurses who specialize in helping families have babies. You work in the lab and you take care of the embryos and help them grow over five days. At the end of the five days, you select the best embryos to be transferred back to the mother in the hopes of achieving a pregnancy. I love being an embryologist because I get to do hands-on science work. We count our success in babies. I can see the impact I've had in other people's lives and their happiness when they have a family. I grew up in a small town and growing up I only knew about being a doctor or a nurse if you wanted to do a science job. So I started a bachelor's degree in biology hoping to become a doctor. During my degree, I got to take part in a developmental biology class. In that class, we got to see sand dollar development. So we got to see the sperm and eggs come together, fertilize, and start to make an embryo. When I saw that, I knew that this was for me. I had to do this. I wasn't interested in being a medical doctor anymore. I knew I wanted to work with embryos and study development. So after my bachelor's degree, I started a master's degree in developmental biology. And in that degree I was working with fish, actually, fish development. I then switched to a PhD in developmental biology and continued on. I think it's really important to not close any doors in high school, so make sure you take sciences and maths that are available. In high school I didn't even know that an embryology job existed. And if I had have taken biology and chemistry and physics, it might not have been an option for me. So there's so many jobs you don't know about in high school that need those courses. When I was choosing my career path, I wanted to make sure that I kept my doors open. So if I chose to do an industry job, can I still go back and do research after if I don't like it? So with a science degree, because you learn so much and you have so much experience, you don't close any doors. You can choose one pathway first, and if it doesn't work out or you don't love it, you can always choose another. It's important to put yourself out there, share your dreams with others. You never know who you're going to meet that can help you with those dreams. Teachers, professors, any sort of mentors you have, they might be able to put you in contact with someone who can make your dreams happen.